Hello everyone, this is Cynthia on Embracing His Word. Well, I am so happy about the goodness and the faithfulness of the Lord in my life and in my family. Today, I will be doing a prayer and also words of encouragement to you. We have been doing, I have been doing a video series in reference to healing for the wounded heart. So it, it is just amazing just how much God loves you and me. He knows the very hairs on our heads. He knows what we are going through in this life. He is waiting on you to come run into him as a father wants to take care of his children. He has his arms open wide to just embrace you and to love on you. God sees you, those of you that's going through a court situation, a legal battle. God sees you in the midst of your court situation. He is God. He is El Roy, the God who sees. So he sees the court battle that you're going through. And you think that the judge will not rule in your favor. Ask the Lord for favor in the manifested uh, power of God in the courtroom. He will be a lawyer for you in the courtroom. So if you are in the middle of a court case, God cares. He has not abandoned you. He wants you to have faith in him for direction for every situation related to the legal battle. And as you face a legal battle, you must choose to walk in God's righteousness his integrity, his love, and his word. And through the, the challenge, stand on, pray, and confess the truth of God's word as reflected. And I just want to say that God loves you and he can supernaturally intervene even when it seems like there's a remote chance that God will intervene if you only have faith because the word of the Lord says to him that believe it all things are possible so God wants you to just walk by faith trust in him in the midst of this battle so father God I just thank you Lord God for the individuals that are going through legal court battles I pray father that you will go before him before them and send forth your spirit father lord to begin to release supernatural favor for these individuals father lord we counsel out the plans of the enemy to bring hindrance to bring trouble in their lives or in their family lord i pray oh god lord that things will go in their favor lord begin to touch their hearts lord areas lord that they need to surrender unto you father i pray father that those things are surrendered unto you through repentance and through rep and prayer in jesus name i pray amen now there's someone that will be having surgery soon but you are fearful that you will not make it so God wants you to be encouraged. He wants to trust you that he's watching over you and that he will see you through it. So the scripture is for those of you that's facing surgery. God does not want you to be fearful. In fact, the scripture says, for God has not given you a spirit of fear, but he's given you power, love, and a sound mind. So take authority over the spirit of fear by binding that spirit and also uh, standing on the promises of God. And Isaiah 41, 10 says, so do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you i will uphold you with my righteous right hand and so father i pray for that individual that's going that's facing surgery i pray that you will strengthen them in their walk with you father strengthen their faith lord to walk with full trust full reliance and confidence and what you've done and continuing to do. Father, may they, Lord, just relax and, and have no, and no anxiety, Father. We just come against a spirit that wants to bring anxiety and fear. We bind that up in the powerful name of Jesus. And Father, just lose your peace, your love, your joy over uh, these individuals. In the powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. There's someone out there that has has a broken relationship or just broke 
up with someone and they're starting their lives afresh or they you have been through a divorce and the Lord wants you to be encouraged and to continue to have your faith and trust in the Lord and as I stated before on my previous uh, videos the most important relationship you want to focus on is having that close and intimate relationship with the Lord he is the one that can fulfill everything that you need in your life the scripture in Isaiah 43 verse 2 and 4 says when you pass through the waters I will be with you and through the rivers they shall not overflow you when you walk through the fire you shall not be burned since you were precious in my sight you have been honored and I have loved you the, these are powerful verses these are verses that I often use in the times of difficult times trials and just going through a hard time I latch on to the Word of God and this is one of my favorite scriptures that when you pass through the waters God says he will be with you and even through the rivers when it seems like everything is just overwhelming and that you don't know how you don't come you will come out of this or how you your heart will be healed and restored just put your trust in the Lord Proverbs 3 verses 5 through 6 says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight so right here the word of the Lord says that we are to trust in him with all our heart don't try to figure it out and don't try to lean on your own understanding God is saying just trust me allow him to heal your heart allow him to bring restoration in the powerful name of jesus so father I pray for those that are experiencing broken relationships lord going through the voice father going through some form of rejection i pray for the healing process to begin even now father i just release that peace let your peace mount guard over their mind spirit and body father i pray that even when they lay down to sleep in the night lord that your peace lord lord just surrounds them i counsel out the plans of the enemy to bring fear or torment i bind and cast that away from them in the powerful name of jesus and father i just thank you lord for for your peace and your love over these individuals in the precious name of Jesus I pray amen well this uh, section of my prayer is for people that have experienced loss of a loved one God sees your pain he is El Roy and God said I see your pain and he will bring healing and he will bring restoration to you God is saying it's time for you to just come forth to him release that pain unto him and I know that grief grieving the loss of a loved one is very difficult and that uh, grieving can be the most difficult time for people trying to balance the feelings of pain and loss while going forward with your everyday life but what I want you to do is to be honest with your emotions if your feelings um, that you need to voice your emotions go before God in prayer uh, don't grieve alone and don't lose hope so be encouraged God is for you he is not against you the scripture in Revelation chapter 21 verse 4 says he will wipe every tear from their eyes there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things have passed away so Father I just thank you Lord for those that's going through grief experiencing deep grief those that have even allowed a spirit of grief to come into their lives because they have not healed from their wounds father i pray lord god that you just begin to release your healing power over their mind spirit and body father i pray that you take away the sting of the pain from the lost father lord god that they will begin to focus on the good memories of their loved one father i pray oh god that you just begin to touch and heal those memories in the powerful name of jesus and lord i thank you lord for your word says you came to heal the brokenhearted you came to bind up their wounds and father i thank you lord that you're doing that just 
even now in the hearts of those that are grieving. In Jesus' precious name I pray, amen. So I want you to be encouraged and be blessed.